The saphenous nerve block provides uh, anesthesia of the medial portion of the lower leg as well as the medial malleolus. The saphenous nerve block can be useful for deep lacerations of the medial lower leg that uh, require extensive um, um, repair procedures. The saphenous nerve block can also be useful for pain control, uh, for reduction and splinting of ankle fractures involving the medial malleolus. Uh, this block may be uh, used in combination with the popliteal uh, sciatic uh, nerve block, which is discussed in a different uh, lecture uh, for uh, complex uh, ankle fractures. To identify the landmarks needed for this block with ultrasound, the patient can be placed uh, supine with the leg externally rotated. Place the probe uh, transversely uh, at the mid-thigh in the medial region. Scan the medial mid-thigh and the uh, distal third of the thigh. The key is to identify the fascial plane between the vastus medialis and the sartorius muscles. This should contain the distal branches of the femoral artery as well as the saphenous nerve. As you scan through the medial thigh, uh, the distal portion of the medial thigh, you'll note a large um, muscle body on the lateral side. This is the vastus medialis. A fascial plane, which is highlighted in white here, will separate the vastus medialis from the sartorius muscle. Um, in this fascial plane, uh, you should identify uh, the neurovascular bundle. Uh, color Doppler uh, may be uh, useful uh, to place in this region to identify the artery. The uh, saphenous nerve is highlighted here in yellow. As you scan through the uh, distal portion of the thigh, in the medial aspect, you'll see the prominent muscle belly of the vastus medialis. The fascial plane between this muscle and the sartorius, which is seen uh, medial here, uh, should contain um, the uh, distal branch of the femoral artery, as well as the uh, saphenous nerve. And so you'll see at the end of this uh, clip, we see vastus medialis here, sartorius here. Uh, we're looking in this area for the fascial plane. And eventually we see the neurovascular bundle uh, here, the artery and uh, artery you can see pulsating there. And the nerve uh, is uh, just medial to that. Once all the relevant anatomy is identified, you can set up to perform the block procedure. The needle is inserted from the lateral uh, aspect of the probe, as uh, shown here, and is uh, followed uh, using the in-plane technique. This animation uh, shows the trajectory of the needle um, coming from uh, lateral to medial. The target of your needle tip should be the fascial plane uh, which is just medial um, to the saphenous nerve uh, here. If the needle tip is placed in this location, uh, injection of anesthetic uh, should separate the uh, fascial plane and should also fill uh, around the uh, saphenous nerve. Five to 10 mLs of anesthetic uh, is needed uh, to achieve a good block using this procedure. Thank you very much for your attention and for your interest in performing nerve block procedures that can greatly benefit our patients.